Yes, um, so for the Transworld Pro Spotlight, for the October issue, I got a bunch of questions and uh, all the questions when you make the article. So I'm here to answer 10 more that I picked from the Facebook that I thought you might want to hear the answers for. So let's get started. I think the first one that's looking pretty good is Sailor Curry. Are you and Don Jackson related because you look like twins? But the real question is, are you single? Let's go do something awesome together. Well, it's actually pretty funny because um, when I used to film for Standard Films and John Jackson was on the crew too, so I was kind of, they would kind of make jokes about it and call me like the European John Jackson. I don't think we really look like, look like each other, but I, I guess you might think so. And, uh, and for the real question, I'm not single. I got a girlfriend since four and a half years and I don't think we should do anything awesome together. Cheers. And the uh, second question, Hayden Smith, have you ever burned any of your hair away while cooking with gas? Well, actually, there's a funny story for this one too. Um, just one week ago, I was in a car in a party mode. Heike was sitting in the back seat and he basically just took the lighter and burned my hair. It just burned for a little bit because I was kind of didn't really notice, so I kind of like just wiped it off, but it was a scary moment. Thanks, Heike, for that one. Then we go for number three, Kalle Huttunen. When did you first double on a snowboard? That was the, um, the year I was filming for MacDog movies, From With Love. And that must have been year 2005, yeah, 2005. And it was me, Heike, and Ville Udiluoma filming in in Alberg and we built a jump and I wanted to do a switch backflip on it but kind of over rotated and I was like fuck I should just go for a double and then on the first time I actually tried the double I landed it the switch double back so that was the first one I've done. Question number four Jason Douglas what was the hardest trick you ever had to master and how did it take you to do so? Um, it must have been the double backside rodeo 1080 in my follow me around part and uh, basically happened I was in, in Alberg hitting a powder jump and I tried to do a normal double back but I kind of like started rotating backside on it too so I was like oh fuck I should just go for a double backside rodeo so later that same year in the springtime went to Mount Hood and I told the guys to build me like a step up jump that I could try it on so it probably took me maybe like 10 tries to land it but uh, eventually I made it so that was a pretty hard one and here we have question number five Ryan McAuliffe, do you miss MacDog? Is there ever going to be a reunion video? Well, I actually do miss the MacDog days because it was kind of the first time I was really concentrating on filming and filming with the big pros like Jeremy Jones, UC Oxen, and Heike was always in the mix and Seth Hewitt, Jer just Dirksen. And uh, it was always the best times. But if there's ever going to be a reunion video, I would be stoked to be part of it if there is, but I'm not really in charge or deciding if there's going to be one. It probably depends if Mike McIntyre, Brad Kramer and Jaco Ida are going to make a comeback together that could kind of make the movie happen again. I'm hoping so. It was always fun. And then we go for question number six. Marshall Smith, are you over the competition scene and if so, are the Olympics a big enough event to draw you back in? Uh, I'm not really over the contest scene. I mean, I'm still enjoying doing big air contests like the Invitational contest, but I think for actually, actually trying to make the Olympic team, that would be kind of a too big of a mission for me. I th there's a lot of good Finnish riders, so it basically would be pretty hard anyways. But I'm not willing to sacrifice the whole season just to like do some FIS contest to get some ranking points into making it to the team. So you will not see him in the Olympics. And number seven, Mike Marks. When did you first meet Heike? That was actually um, in Eastern Finland. Actually, my grandma and Heike's grandma used to live in that place. Like it's six hours east from Helsinki. It's called the Oensu, so there's a resort that I would always go when I was on a Christmas holiday. And I met Heike there, he was trying to teach me how to do Japan airs on the first day we met. So we go way back, that was probably like 15 years ago. Uh, this is a funny one for the number eight, Ugly K. 
Kid Joe, how come everyone in Tahoe called you Gaylord? Well, it's basically, it's a, it's a joke we had when I was filming for the standard movie called Lost in Transition. One of my filmers just kind of like made a hat that said Gaylord on the, on the visor and I, I would wear it a couple of days and, and that's when people started calling me Gaylord. It's kind of a funny joke, I kind of forgot about that, but thanks for reminding me. And uh, for number nine, Christy Tarcia, which is your favorite cooking recipe? Well, I actually suck at cooking, but if I would need to make something, I would probably make a traditional Finnish food. It's called the, the macaroni box. It kind of has pasta and ground beef in it, and then you just put it in the oven for, for one hour, and it comes out pretty solid. It's legit. It, it's almost better the next day when you put it in the fridge for the night. And the last question, number 10. Anselmi Kaisenlahti wants to know what is the best country for snowboarding and skateboarding overall? Well, I kind of wanted to say Finland, but it's really not. I think USA is the best for snowboarding and skateboarding. They just have a lot of amazing parks for snow and skate, and the street spots for skating look awesome in the US. That's it. Thanks for listening.